So what is going on guys, NandoPants93 here with another video. And I've got a lot of requests from people that are currently on iPadOS beta versions that want to, not really downgrade, but go back to the normal, you know, public release of iPadOS. Because Apple did surprise us and they kind of skipped iPadOS 13.0 and went straight to 13.1, I do recommend that if you really do want to avoid any bugs or glitches, not that the latest betas have been buggy at all, but if you do want to get back into, you know, the public versions of these softwares, it's actually pretty easy. So you don't need a computer for this. If you wanted to downgrade to 12 point something or anything that's not in 13.0 or higher, then you would need a computer. But stay in the 13.0 to 13.1 iPad OS. These just follow these steps and you'll be good to go. So what you do is you go into settings, you go into general and then profile. So when you when you sign up for the public developer beta, Apple basically puts the profile on your iOS device or on your iPad and says, hey, this iPad has permission to use these beta softwares, right? And you have to remove that profile. So what you do is you remove this. We're doing this live, right? So I'm trying this for the first time with you guys. Type it in, removing the profile will change the settings on your iPad. Before we do that, let's cancel and make sure that we're backed up. That's the number one thing you wanna do because when you, would, when you would downgrade from 13.1 beta down to the 12.4.1, then there was a little, then you lose a lot of data. But since we're now also on 13.1, the last successful backup was yesterday at 8.50 p.m. So I'm good to go, I'm okay with that. So let's go back into the settings. But now that we're within the same realm of updates and of software versions, the backup should work, right? So again, let's do this live, we're doing this together. I haven't done this or tested it out, and it should be as easy as removing the profile, rebooting the iPad, and then updating it that way. So real quick, let's check in the settings what it says we're on, right? So if we go to general, about, it says 13.1, we're still in the beta because there's an A at the end of it. So that wouldn't normally happen. So what you do is you turn off the iPad, and when it reboots, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so the iPad has been rebooted. As you guys can see, we're still on a version of iPadOS, right? So it's not like it downgraded us back into the 12.0 versions of iPad or of iOS, right? So, but what you wanna do now is you're technically still on the beta at this point, right? If you go to about, you check again, it says 13.1, you have the A at the end, which means you're in the beta version. What you do now is you just now update it as you would update a normal device. So download and install, let it do its thing, and then once it's done downloading, you let it install and you're, you're back into the, the regular, you know, I guess public versions of these softwares. So I'm on iPadOS 13.1, like normal. There's no betas to go through. And my next update will be the 13.2 whenever it releases. And just so you guys know, if you do wanna get back into the beta program because our iPadOS 13.2 beta will release eventually, you can just go back through the normal avenue of signing up for the public developer beta program, which is still free, there's no change to that. So let this update and I'll bring you guys back again. So the update took about 10 minutes between downloading the prep to install and then also physically installing it onto the system. But as you guys can see, we're on 13.1 with no A at the end, which means I'm on the regular public version of iPadOS beta or iPadOS 13.1. And that's how you guys do it. So it's really not that hard to do. All my data is still here, it was backed up. Nothing has changed except for the fact that now I'm on the normal public version of iPadOS 13.1. So hopefully that helps some people out. I know people were kind of scared because they were on iPadOS 13.1 beta four at this point, And they're like, hey, 13.1, the regular version just came out. Like, why am I still stuck on this beta? How do I go back down? Some people thought you needed a computer and to connect to iTunes, which in this day and age, I don't think iTunes should even exist, to be honest. But that's how you do it. Hopefully it helps somebody out. Really appreciate the time. If you guys made it to the end, don't forget to comment below that you made it to the end because I really appreciate that. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And until next time, peace.